Uh, so here's our situation. Uh, we have a bunch of images here. So our goal will be to animate these images uh, using C Sharp. Uh, so to start, uh, we will create a new Windows Form application project. Uh, let's just rename it. Uh, fix its text, size, and start position. Uh, so next, uh, we will create a method that will load the resources or the images. So we will create a list of images uh, to store it there. Let's just call it uh, load resources. So we will create a variable which will hold the max index so for the idle max index is 10 Oops. Let's just copy this. And let's just copy its path. So let's just put in in the constructor and let's test if there is no error. So the loading of image works. Uh, next step, uh, we will paint the image on the form. So we will add a paint event of the form. So let's test. Oops. So it's working. Uh, next step, we will animate it using a timer. So let's just add a timer. Let's just rename the timer and add the tick event. So let's just start the timer. So basically, the technique that we will use is we will have a uh, counter or a variable that we will update on the timer. And we will just call the repaint or the invalidate to repaint the form.
So let's test. So it's working. Uh, it's working but there is a flickering effect. So let's just uh, remove that. So let's test again. So there you go. Uh, next step, uh, we will make it walk. So also, we will add a list of image for the walk. So index is also 10, max index. Uh, let's just copy this. So let's just test if there is no error. So there's no error, uh, meaning uh, the loading of images is working. Uh, we forgot to update this. Uh, also this one. So basically we added the variable named is idle. So uh which when we set it to true or false it will change the image or it will switch the image to be painted on the screen. So next uh let's add the let's add a keyboard event. So when the right key button was clicked or press, we will just set the variable to false. So let's test. So it's working. Uh, but uh, it does not stop when we release the right key button. So we will just add a mouse uh, a key up event. So if the key was released, we will just set the variable to true. So there you go. It's working great. Uh, 